I'm doing fine. Um, we're gonna try and take a shower after this on International Harvester, or International Provider. And hopefully then I'll show you a little closer there. Get that cleaned up. And yeah, I would recommend never doing that again. I'm going out on the side of the boat. Waves came and went up. Like, what would that be? Per perpendicular? Yeah. All right. Moving on. All right, guys. The day continues to be interesting. There's Brandon right there. Hopefully you got him. And he is out of fuel. We already gave him five gallons earlier. That's how far he made it to the tip of the agate bar. So what we're gonna do is, if the water's going down, we just went to try and tow him off. It's not gonna work, we can't get in. So we're gonna go and load, get fuel. Then we're gonna come back, we'll get as close as we can to the agate bar. Probably go dry for a little bit, and we'll walk it over to him. Oh, very interesting. So you gotta know where your fuel is at when you go fishing. Otherwise you might run out. It goes with your boat or your car or whatever. Know where your fuel is at. So, I guess since I got you outside, our door here keeps flying open. I think it's the, the wind coming on the outside here that uh, keeps uh, opening it up and then the pressure builds up. Let me show you one of the holes here. Oh, there it is. They're all full, every one. So we're guessing anywhere between 95 and 10,000 is on here. We'll see. And yeah, we had like, I don't know, 40 mile an hour winds or whatever. Uh, but everything's intact. We do have a little net to fix. Not much, just you don't want to be fixing. You want to be sleeping. I want to crawl in bed right now. But I got to have this looked at too. So, um, yeah, it's supposed to calm down right now. And by the way, this is an Igigig. This is not the douche where it's expected 10 and 12 footers and that's what we had here today during the fishing time so uh maybe lastly i'll say before i shut this off for now is i don't maybe recommend when you got 10 and 12 footers you walk around the side uh, i'll try and get you the picture there that kind of was falling down and I went up to fix it, and of course I sort of got stuck there, and the waves came, and yeah, so that probably wasn't good, or maybe I should at least tied myself onto the boat, uh, but hey, past is past, learn from it, go on, so I think a half a day or one more day of this wind, and then it's supposed to calm down some, so all right, continuing back on the delivery. Yeah, that's what's going on there. There he turned the corner. So he just got done putting our anchor down right here. But he's got fuel, so 10 gallons of fuel. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. And it is windy, as you can tell. It's just super windy. This is crazy. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. 
right over there, a whole bunch of seals basking in the gravel before that sun goes down. Seventy miles an hour. You think it's going out Six, there? At least sixty. Sixty miles an hour. That's what Phil says. Going outside. Oh, should make for an interesting evening. But now it's time to get some snooze.